Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. And today, let's take a break from politics and talk about something that isn't so divisive, pedophiles. We can all agree that it's wrong, evil, and if you participate in it, you should be drugged behind a truck doing 80 miles per hour on a cross-country trip. Now, I'm going to talk about a comic that was outed this weekend for grooming underage girls. Now, being a fellow comedian, a lot of you are thinking, dude, there should be a thin clown line. But for somebody that talks, slams, rants, and bitches about cops hiding behind their badges and not being honest about killing or crimes they committed, eh, I really can't do the same thing, can I? You know, we all need to call out the evil. That's how you stop evil. Now, here's the deal. Chris D'Elia, comedian with three or four Netflix specials, has been hitting on and trolling underage girls for years, asking them to make out, flying them to Los Angeles, etc. Now, over the weekend, five of them came out and told their stories. In response, a few other comedians wrote statements, and Chris was dropped by his management and his agencies, which for Hollywood is kind of weird. I mean, to see how fast they did the right thing, yeah, this is the same place that overlooked Weinstein and Cosby for decades and ignored reports of billion-dollar directors with underage boys. Now, my instinct is to not talk about this because A, Chris is a fellow comedian. B, his reps and friends are powerful. But I can't. That would make me complicit and a hypocrite. Actually, a creepy, complicit hypocrite. The weirdest part about all of this is pedophiles and rapists are really having their time in the spotlight, aren't they? I mean, some of you guys voted for one. It has been reported and court cases filed against the president for raping underage girls. And This case right here was dropped 16 days before the election. There is a Netflix series about Jeffrey Epstein, a dude with no real reason to be rich. The reality show depicts a 50-year-old man that had a team of people recruiting underaged girls. According to the series, some recruited from Mar-a-Lago. I guess they were just trolling with Barbie dream houses. Oh yeah, and I'm sure the president has absolutely no connection. Yet some of you are sure Hillary Clinton ran a pedophile ring from a pizza parlor basement. A pizza parlor without a goddamn basement! Do you get that in the last three years we've got okay with raping and pedophilia? It's like Cosby and Subway Jared died for the rest of these scumbag sins. And I'm not happy that I had to have a when a guy tries to rape you talk with my 18-year-old daughter. Not an if a guy tries to rape you talk, a when a guy tries to rape you talk. We have gotten to the point in this country where it's just part of it. We think raping girls under 18, recruiting kids for sex, or a series that we calmly watch where a pedophile buddy of the president is just another night of television. It's dark times, people. But there is hope. In the last few months, we have attacked racism and police brutality. The Me Too movement has taken down some of the big and powerful. But it has taken decades of overlooking it to get here. But here's how I feel and what I stand for. If you are a racist, if you are a pedophile, if you are a rapist, or if you are a racist, rapist pedophile, I would like to help. Due to your damage and the damage you cause other people by your psychotic scumbag behavior, I am modifying my stance on what to do about this problem. I used to think that prison or therapy, you know, might be the answer. But prison costs us tax money, and then you still have these predators roaming the earth. So can we all just agree that pedophiles, rapists, and pedophile rapists bring nothing, give nothing, and do nothing to make us better as a species. So I am proposing turning them into fertilizer. Listen, hey, we in California grow a third of the country's fruits and vegetables. We need the help. So it's a two for one. We get to get rid of all the pedophiles and rapists, hopefully in a violent, torturous way, and then use their remains to feed the world. Keep shining a light on these a-holes. And then after this is enacted, next time you get a beautiful apple or a delicious salad, know that your neighborhood is a little safer and your kids and your daughter have not been destroyed for life. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Ha <laughs> ha!